Hello everyone. Uh, this is Frank, uh, and we are working on uh, 1541 drive. We, well, actually, it's a, a disk drive for of my, one of my executives, uh, the SX64. The same that you have seen on another video. And uh, this drive uh, was really unreliable. Uh, it wasn't able to uh, read correctly most of my old disks. Uh, even it wasn't able to uh, format and write uh, uh, new disks and so on. So I decided to open it. And the reason was the the belt was uh, worn out and not uh, able to grab uh, the wheel and make it turn uh, anymore. So um, finding a replacement belt for this kind of uh, drive mechanics is really hard. So the first thing uh, I do is remove the belt and uh, clean the side of this wheel also clean the inside of this other uh, little wheel which is uh, the motor the spindle motor and then uh, also i tried to clean the belt itself and most important thing that i did is to reverse the belt itself. This is the original belt, but before this part, which is in outside, in this moment was the, the part uh, going inside and touching uh, the two wheels. Now, uh, the, all the outside part is the new part that is going inside. So I just reversed the, uh, the belt. The last thing I did after this process um, was uh, using this uh, little trimmer and using uh, my frequency counter on the yellow wire in this case. Uh, I loaded a program that makes uh, uh, the spindle run forever until I stop the program and uh, again using this trimmer I set the frequency read on the yellow wire to 3 and 67 uh, Hertz um, of course the trimmer and the prob uh, depends on the actual uh, version revision of the PCB you have so you better check on the manual or other guides before doing this and also you can use the stroboscopic uh, images uh, on the correct line frequency with, with a lamp for 60 or 50 hertz uh, depending on the line frequency you have in your country uh, but the best method is uh, to check the frequency with a good frequency counter. I then uh, cleaned uh, the right head, which is the white, uh, this white thing here, and cleaned. Uh, let's see if we can see it. The the rail. Uh, which is the what support the movement of uh, the right head and clean the generally the the inside of the, the drive uh, be very careful uh, if you want to use uh, any grease or oil uh, not to contaminate anything uh, that goes around the head because it must be very very clean uh, so um, I usually don't uh, use any grease or oil 
if I'm not forced to do that but uh, most of the time you can just clean in the inside the um, rails and so on and it will work um, so now it's uh, time to put uh, the thing back together I read and formatted uh, uh, some disks and uh, it appeared to be much more reliable than before and fortunately this is uh, a version of the SX64 that doesn't require you to remove everything to extract uh, the, the drive from the from its uh, place but uh, I have another one where almost everything must uh, to be removed in order to access the driver so fortunately this was not the case in assembling back uh, the, the whole thing is uh, to mount the driver with the storage box uh, with these four Excuse one, two, three, and four. The second thing to do is uh, slide back uh, the whole assembly first to the rear side under the cartridge connector, then uh, front side to align you with the, the front uh, mask. Um, then we will put uh, four more screws, one uh, through and two, this one, and on the other side three and uh, four. Here it is with the uh, four screws in place. And uh, try now to format a floppy disk, let's see. So it's okay, so uh, we'll try to read some old disks and see what happens. This is trying to load uh, uh, a game from a very old disk uh, and uh, it works. So I guess uh, this is much better than before anyway. So until I find a proper replacement belt, this is probably um, working enough uh, for, uh, for this old uh, disk drive. Thank you for watching.